Hey! Good morning, everyone. Big Bucks Dave here from Magic the Gathering Attitude. Oh, what's all this stuff? So, hey, um, so this is a lot of my, uh, without getting blinding you guys here, this is a lot of my collection. Oh, it's very hard to see over there. I had, to, I had to move my tool. See the red toolbox right there? I had to move that over so I could actually show some of my collection. Like, last time I just went through there real quickly. But I'm going to uh, start doing uh, every Thursdays by opening up a, uh, a bin. Just to show you what you all what I got in there. So, uh, stand by, guys. We'll go through that first bin. And we're back. Sorry about that, guys. Um, so, yeah, the last time I, I did something like this, I my back was not in a position where I can move stuff around. And it looked messy, but it's actually very organized down here. It really is. So, uh, this is... A, I'm trying to... Back. There we go. That's probably a little better. You guys see my, see my feet right there. Hey, there's these slippers. Look. <laughs> Sacagawea moccasins. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm being dumb. So, uh, so here it is. Like, uh, this is all, like, uh, all my, obviously all my sealed boxes. Um, this is just a sporadic MH2 booster box. It was just off to the side. I put it in there. Obviously, you can see that. So, but uh, we'll start off with, with the seal, some of the sealed product. Because, uh, I, you know, I said I have uh, at least one of every box going back to 2010. I wasn't lying. So, Caldime and Jumpstart. Like, I, I labeled all of these. This is how organized and meticulous I am with this stuff. Many Magic the Gathering players ask the question, is it better to buy sealed product or singles? And my answer is, sealed product. <laughs> so, forgive me, but uh, that's just the way I think. So, uh, you know, it, it, it behooves you to buy both of them, for, for darn sure. But you know what? Sealed product goes up in price, too. If you have the patience to not open it up and whatnot. Sure. All right, so, and again, these are just normal boxes. So I just want you guys to be able to see this stuff that I actually do have. And I keep it in these because if you stack the boxes on top of one another, they, they bend and they break. So, all right, Kansa Tarkir, Magic Origins. Yay, I'm just going to show them like really, really quick. And then I'm going to put them back just to kind of, like I said, just to kind of go through it. But uh, the reason why I'm doing this, a lot of people are like, hey, Dave, I want to see your, your collection. And Andy Torres like shot back at somebody. He's like, he's like, he already did a video on that. But I never really did it this way. So Shadows over Innistrad, Avacyn Restored. Yes, I actually have a booster box of Avacyn Restored. <laughs> and Shadows over Innistrad. So that is a thing. They're like, holy crap. So what kind of prompted me to do the show is I showed Joey... Moss, when I was talking to Joey, Dragons and uh, Dragons of Maze and, and uh, Tarkir as well. Dragons Maze and Dragons of Tarkir. So, I might just start flipping open the lids just to show you guys. And Moss is like, holy crap. He's like, what are you going to do with all that? I said, I don't know. I've just been collecting for the last seven years. He's I'm like, what do you want me to do with it? He goes, crack it. I'm like, what? So, I'll just pop them. So, two mystery boxes. These are the old conventions. Boom, there they are. All right. So, there's no uh, no shiking and biking here. Okay, Return to Ravnica, Dark Ascension. There it is. All right. And I have another bin like this of, uh, that finishes up all my, all of these types of things. The, the, like the the standard uh, booster boxes. By the way, that was Journey into Nyx and Born of the Gods. So, there we go. And uh, then I have at least two of each uh, master set. So, there's Fate Reforged and Theros. There you go. And I got most of these boxes like when they were relatively cheap. So, that Avacyn Restored box, I think I paid... It was like 180. Now I'm like, that's a lot of money. You know, 180 to me. Like when I first started collecting, it was like a ton of money. But I'm like, I can ensure that I don't do this. Send a car rising times two. Real easy one. Real easy one. I have extra boxes of that. Kicking around. I like, I like send a car rising. Box toppers. Okay. M10, M14. Again, there's no reason to rhyme for these. I just grabbed boxes at random and stuck them in there. So there it is. M14, M10. So, oops, I don't want to hurt the boxes. So, 
there you go is that and let's see here ties bottle and master times two i definitely tucked two of those away so i bought those when they were 190. we are currently up to about 300 right now so m15 and dragon's maze dragon's maze again so maybe i will open a box of dragon's maze or maybe let's keep it sealed because it's one of the worst goddamn sets ever. <laughs> Magic the Gathering. Oh my god, is that set horrible. Okay, M12, M13. There you go. There it is. M12, M13. I hope this is showing up nicely on the camera because I am in my basement. And I'm ready to replace my water heater. So there's a like, lot going on down here. And like I said, there's a lot I couldn't do. So, uh, Gills of Ravnica and Arcoria. There she is, Skills of Ravnica and I Cora. But anyway, um, yeah, like I, I, I initially never started, was going to do a show. And then uh, I, said to jo I said to Joey, I'm like, Joey, Elders Moon and Gate Crush, I never had any intentions of, of doing a show. Uh, of doing a show. And I'm like, what should I do? And he goes, he's like, dude, crack all that shit. I'm like, what? I can't crack all that. Like, he wanted me to crack all this. I'm like, how? Like, this is this is half a decade of, uh, oh, oh, my gosh, just stretching the back out, of just uh, collecting. Kaladesh and Amonkot. Yes, that is actually a Kaladesh and Amonkot box. There you go. Amonkot. Kaladesh. So, starting to get into a little bit of heaters. Um, some of the big heaters, I believe, are in the other... The other bin. But, oh, you guys can probably see my head down here. God damn it. Get in there, you. Oh, God. Right, I'm just going to put this one off to the side a little bit. Okay, Commander Legend, War of Spec. That's more of a common set. Should say more common sets. But uh, I'm like, I can't crack all that. He's like, I go, where do you want me to crack it on camera? And he goes, why not? <laughs> and there you go. J Joey Moss was my muse. Okay, Theros Beyond Death and Core Set 19. There it is right there. Too easy. So, and I, I got all these booster boxes, like, any more of the modern ones. Uh, Core Set 20 and Core Set 21. More so modern sets right there than anything else. Um, when they were around, like, the $85, $90 mark. And I just tucked them away. I never opened them. Never had the uh, initiative to do so. Okay, Throne of Eldraine times two. I just, I, I told you I like Throne of Eldraine, so I had two of them. And believe me, I have more of these boxes kicking around. These, these are the ones I just stowed away. Like, these are the ones I'll, I'll never open up, you know? Oh, hold on. Oh, yeah. You probably see me. My, my leg's moving down there. Okay. Okay, Ravnica Allegiance and Aether Revolt. There you go. I had nothing, guys. I had nothing. So, uh, all right, here we go. And Rivals of Ixalan and Hour of Dev. I hate Hour of Dev. It is just, it has always done me filthy. There it is right there. Okay, and hold on. I know some of you are like, like, oh my God, dude, you should open this stuff. Like, no, I'm not opening this. And Battle for Zendikar and Ixalan. So there you go. There it is. Those are the last two. So, uh, what are we at? Eight minutes, 50 seconds? All right, hey, guys, what I'll do? Uh, I'll try to pull in another case there, another bin. Stand by, guys. Box two, fight. <laughs> so, all right, so, yeah, here's box two. Um, there you go. Yep, that is real. <laughs> I, I just I just saw about 25 people go, ha, he, ha, 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 ha. A nobody party is a spirit of Santa. Yeah. Anyway, um, so yeah, we'll start off with this. Uh, one of my favorite sets, probably if not my favorite set. So MH2, these are obviously collector boosters. Yes, I have five of them. Uh, this four right there, uh, I'd have to look around for the fifth one. But I'm just gonna stop putting this stuff off to the side. Um, I don't want to ruin it. Uh, Ikoria collector booster. Oh, there, there, there it is right there. This is the other one, MH2. So there's this. <laughs> so I got these when they were cheap. I really did get these when they were cheap. I was like, they weren't that cheap. No, they were. <laughs> they were. 
They were down there for a bit. Okay, so Ikoria Collector Booster times three. And I breathe. It's like it's hot in here, guys. It's, this is the furnace room. So, so uh, uh, there it is. I, I actually moved that over back over there. See, there's my new furnace. There's the boiler that needs to be replaced right over there, right there. And that's all cleared up now. See. Ah, oh, see, it's it's freaking hot down here. Like I said, Freddy Krueger stuff. Okay, Daryl's Beyond Death times two. All right, and uh, because I hated the set so much, I only had one. <laughs> Caldam, I actually do have another collector booster of this, uh, but it's not in here. So uh, I, I, this one was already filled up. So Crimson Vow times one, Strixhaven definitely times one, and we start getting to the good goodens. So again, Throne of Eldraine times two. Uh, let's see here, Zendikar Horizon. I actually have a third one of this that I recently picked up for two fifty. It was like three months ago. I was like, oh man, that's going up. It was at an LGS, the Toy Vault. All right, there we go. Core set twenty one, most underrated set around. Uh, definitely for collector boosters. <laughs> I gave one to Joey for Christmas. Yes, I did. So, Commander Legends times two. Uh, those have popped off in price, like you read about. Let's put those off to the side. I don't want those getting damaged, definitely. <sighs> okay, so let's see here. So, set boosters. I, I, I don't care for set boosters. I have my own personal opinion on that. But I got Caldon, Strixhaven. Uh, let's see here. Zendikar Rising. Obviously, two of... Uh, MH2. And like I said, guys, I'm trying to do this as quickly as I can. But, this is, by the way, it's only been two. We got six more to go. Uh, which is why I'm doing this in pieces. So, uh, here we go. Battle Bond. We're going to buy those for $110. What? $110? Yes. Yes. So, alright. So, every... Master set and or um, like kind of specialty set like MH, I have two of. So there you have it right there. So MH1 times two. Iconic Masters times two. This is actually where I grabbed I grabbed that box for the uh, for the opening because I hadn't I hadn't gotten that box in yet. So I grabbed up mine like oh man, little did I know. So. OG Modern Masters. And I think I have the other one right here. Nope, it's 2017 Modern Masters. There we go. And there you have it, as I would say. There you have it. Go ahead, guys. Next one of me. Okay. <laughs> M25. Uh, let's see here. Here's the other M25 right here. So, M25 times two. Again, all sealed, guys. All sealed. 2015 Modern Masters. Have never actually opened that up. I, only, I bought these and never opened them. 2015 again. Alright, let's see what we got here. And uh, down here, 2017, that's the second one. All right, we already went to the first one. And we start getting to some of the meat here. Um, okay, Ultima Masters. Times two. I think I have a third one in here too. I'm almost positive. I bought those when they were around the 280 mark ish. So Eternal Masters, probably my favorite master set right there. I just love it. I, I I don't know why. Actually, I do know why. But Eternal Masters times two. So and OG Modern Masters is the second one. We were looking for that. We were looking for you. So. OG Double Masters times two. Okay, my wife bought that for me for my birthday, and then I picked up another one that same month when they were exactly $303. Imagine that. So, what is it, double the price now? Something like that. And this is four inner cases of VIP. There you go. So, okay. Some, uh,. <laughs> Some older stuff. Scars of Mirrodin and Rise of Eldrazi. Yes, these do exist. And they do exist sealed. You don't see them that often though. So, there you go, right there. 
Rise of the Eldrazi. I don't want these falling. And Scars of Meriden. All right. I'm taking a knee right now. I kind of have to get down here on the crux. This is actually a bigger bin than the last one. Slightly bigger. Okay. Zendikar and uh, Guilds of Ravnica. It's like, why would you put those two together? Like, this is OG Zendikar. <laughs> like the thousand dollar box of Zendikar. And Guilds of Ravnica. Man, I am sweating already. Holy crap. Ugh. You think basements are cool. Don't get me wrong, but like in this confined space, it gets very, uh, it gets very sweaty. It gets very hot in here. Okay, Mirrored Embassy Siege and New Phyrexia. There they are. You can tell they're old school boxes too. There it is. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't take Joey's advice on this one. Just crack them, Dave. Just crack them. Like, no, I'm not cracking these. I'm not cracking these, man. This is like, this is, this is years of love, guys. Years of love. Okay. And a stride. Hold the gate watch. So I'm going to slide these out a little bit. Just so it's easy to open these. There they are. I'll just bring them out to the camera. Whoop, there you go. I won't take those out. That is OG in a stride. Uh, Dominarian Commander Legends. Again, another Commander Legends. Tells you how much I like that set. There you go. Everybody knows what Dominaria looks like. Definitely a diamond area box. And last but not least, the bomb box. And I will stand up for these. I will take these out. You guys see my sweaty head? Look at that. See that? And I have these wrapped up. <laughs> That's right. I was in it, taking the chance. So if you didn't see that, Rise of the Eldrazi and World Week. So yes, I do have another uh, Rise of the Eldrazi. I have two Rise of the Eldrazi boxes. So there's a second one right there. And here's my World Wake box. Ooh, there it is right there. Okay, so some of my more, more expensive uh, sealed product for darn sure. So that's all I'm gonna do for today, folks. Um, this was a lot. So, um, like I said, I got, I think I have six more bins, so one, two, three, Four, five, six, I guess seven more bins. I'm sorry. And then I have my, my super duper high velocity cards. But anyway, guys, listen, hey, until next time. Oh, hey, let's do that right there. Much love. Deuces, guys. We'll see you then.